Everybody knows that to be a good trader, you need two things, a solid strategy and a strong mindset. In this video, I'm gonna be going into the strategy part. Now, I'm not gonna go into all the fine little details that you'll find in the Magic FX Academy or right here on this YouTube channel, if you look hard enough. But what I am going to go into is my philosophy when taking trades and the overall vision of my strategy. Because knowing exactly what you're looking for is tied into how strong your mindset is. If you haven't studied hard enough, you'll have no confidence in your strategy. And if you don't know your structure well enough, you won't know whether you're supposed to be buying or selling. It's as simple as that. Now, when it comes to taking trades and getting funded and staying funded, what you wanna be is more conservative. Less is more. Why? Well, when it comes to prop firms, we're playing in very tight boundaries. If we have a 100K account, say, we don't really have a 100K account. We have around 10K to play with, depending on the firm's drawdown limits. On top of that, they'll often have looser spreads than your personal raw spread account, and the commissions will be high as well. I've had losses of up to 0.87% when I'm risking only 0.4%. That's more than double what I've risked. If you're risking, say, 1%, that'd be over a 2% loss. That just gives you five trades to play with, and you could easily take five losses in a row if you're playing with a very kind of loose strategy. So you might be asking, Dan, how can we be conservative? There's so many setups on the one minute. Well, let me tell you, yes, there is always something going on on the one minute. That is why I use multi time frame analysis to ensure I'm getting involved in the market at the right areas. In order to use multi time frame analysis, you need a clear understanding of structure, a clear understanding of valid supply and demand zones, and a clear understanding of liquidity concepts, inducement, weak highs and lows, etc. All the ingredients that go into a good trading strategy. Now, as I say, I'm not going to get into the specifics of that in this video. But what I will say is this, the strategy itself is a two piece puzzle. You'll have your higher time frame analysis and you'll have your lower time frame entry models, which for me is on the one minute. The problem a lot of people have is that they just want that one minute entry model and then they'll start applying it all over the place without any real understanding of higher time frame structure, which is the most important part. Now don't get me wrong, sometimes it's gonna work, you're gonna hit a great trade on the one minute and you think, wow, I'm amazing at trading that's actually a huge problem because you're not, you don't really have an understanding. You're almost stabbing in the dark and you'll win the lottery once in a while, but it's, that's not gonna work for a funded account. So what you want to do is to know on the higher time frame where is a high probability area for you to get involved in a trade. And then and only then will you look for your one minute or whatever lower time frame entry model. Now you can get in aggressively and with confidence knowing that on the higher time frame, you're likely to get a reaction in this area in the direction of your trade. If it doesn't play out, you'll either get a small win or you'll get to risk free. What you will also find is that price comes to these high time frame areas and doesn't then give you your one minute entry model. And you could have been waiting hours, days or even weeks for price to hit this point and then it just goes in and flies away without you. This happens, and that's part of trading, and you can't be in every single move, but that's part of being conservative, part of being a patient trader. I mean, really, that's just too bad, as long as you're not throwing your money away. Now, I know top quality traders that have had months where they only take two or three entries the entire month, and they're completely happy with that. In fact, they're over the moon because what's the whole reason we got involved in trading in the first place? It's for the freedom. And if you're only taking a couple of trades a month, you only need to be on the charts a couple of times a month and you can be doing whatever you want for the rest of the time. Now, as always, let's jump on the charts. I'll give you a little example of what I'm talking about. All right, so Euro USD, you can see on the charts here, we're starting on the weekly as this is multi time frame analysis and on the higher, higher time frames like the weekly, the daily. What we're looking for is a general sense of direction and does it make sense for price to keep going in that direction on the lower time frames? That's what we get from the higher time frames, okay? And it works, the relationship between the time frames works the same. So the weekly, the daily, the four hour, as you go down the time frame above whatever time frame you're on becomes the general kind of bias and the expectation of will price keep going in this direction 
or has it done its job there? Okay, so we can see on the weekly, we've had this bearish major breaker structure down here, okay? Now, more recently, we've had a, after, after that uh, major breaker structure, we pulled back, failed to mitigate the discount, broke down again, created minor structure, and now we are, we've broken the high of that minor structure. So we're in the bullish uh, minor pullback phase. So the expectation is that we will get to this major premium and have reactions from there. So you can see we are not currently in that major premium. Uh, we are headed towards that major premium and we are bullish minorly. So our expectation is to keep being bullish and keep moving on up. So we have that bias for continued shorts to make sense on the lower time frames. Okay. So we'll go down to the daily. And again, we have a daily breaker structure, major, minor, 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 a re-establishment with a mitigation of that minor, minor, back to major now. So we have this major break of structure. So we're bullish again on the daily, quite clearly. Um, and so, so yeah, the story continues on the daily and on the weekly, we're expected to push up to that weekly premium. And you can see on the left here, there are unmitigated daily premiums for us to target and get to and expect reactions from, um, which we are currently not at. So four hour, again, we can have a look and see what's going on the four hour. And you see we have um, most recently, we had a major breaker structure, minor breaker structure. You can see this candle just about cemented this high. So we clearly didn't mitigate this discount. So we've made minor structure. And then we came back, pulled back, mitigated something in this minor leg of price down here. You can see, and then broke structure again just about you can see we have closed above there now what's happened well after that breaker structure we cemented the high with this candle here we've pulled back into the discount of this current major range and mitigated something down here and cemented low um, <clears throat> and so when we have our weekly and daily expectations to come higher and then we have our four hour is bullish and it's um, it's made a major breaker structure and it's pulled back. Um, what we're kind of wondering is, do we have reason for price to continue going in this direction um, or has it mitigated something to the left that may cause us to uh, continue down? And as we know from the high time frames, we still have that expectation of a continued push up. So we can look at longs in this case from this area. So now we go down to the 15 minute with all that in mind. And it's the fact that we have all this, all these facts in mind that allow us to have confidence in the areas we're taking trades from and allows them to be a high probability trade. Um, so now on the 15 minute, what we'll see is we've had a major breaker structure up here. We've pulled within that major structure, we had minor structure as well. So we had Kind of ranging price and you can see that we so the actual major low was down here and then we this was the lowest point before the major break of the high and now price has created minor structure within that we've become minorly bearish but still overall majorly bullish um and if i just get this out of the way you can see after that minor break structure here bearishly we then cemented a low here um, and then created a new high and broke that low. So we have minor, minor structure because we didn't mitigate the premium of that minor. And then we've broke the high, or broken the high of that minor, minor structure, becoming bullish minor, minorly. So our expectations are now, because we've aligned on the minor, minor structure and we've mitigated this four hour area, which we can refine down to a 15 minute area here, which gives it more of a high probability. Um, what we can expect is for price to come at least, at least to the premium of this 
minor uh, leg of price and tap a valid zone um, because there's still a chance it could come lower than this mitigation and tap something below um, before continuing upwards. So it's safe to take continuations up to this point. And even so, we, we probably, what we'll get from here is a reaction. Either way, we'll get some kind of reaction from this premium uh, to pull back price and then for price to continue upwards from there. So right here, what we have is after this mitigation, the time here is 6.45 a.m. And that is just about when my session starts in the morning. So this is what I saw this morning. And this comes down to forecasting. Um, and this forecasting as well is something that takes the stress out of your trading. Because I can see that, okay, with everything I know, I'm looking for longs at this point. And I'm seeing that we have this minor minor range and price is coming down into it at the moment. It's already had a little reaction here, but that has ultimately failed to break structure and now it's pushing down. And I'd have seen this towards the start of my session. So now I can see a couple of obvious um, 15 minute zones in here that we may come to mitigate. So we have, well, we could take this entire zone here, okay? Um, but if we want to refine it, we can refine down to the wick. But anyway, when we have a zone again, using multi time frame analysis, we look on the lower time frames to refine our zones down, like we did from the four hour to the 15 minute. Now we can go to the 15 minute to one minute um, and look at zones. Now, if we see what we have here, we have a one minute major break of the structure down here. And what is this? This is our 15 minute zone, and we can see it sits in the one minute premium so we can immediately just get rid of that um, and then price is coming down towards this other 50 minute zone now there are a number of zones in here and if we look at the substructure within this we can refine down a little bit more to zones within the discount of that to make them even more high probability so we can see we have first of all this zone that just sits in the discount and there's a number of zones at the bottom, such as the extreme and all these wicks kind of tie in together and make a zone down there. So when price or if price comes down to these areas, we'll see if there is our entry model. So we'll play price forward and you can see we're getting a reaction here. Now that is a reaction in the overall one minute discount, but you can see it's tapped nothing to the left. For me, that's an air tap, it's imbalance. Some people like that. I personally don't trade imbalance, so I ignore a reaction to that. Um, and price comes down. It comes towards this zone, just blasts straight through it, so that's fine. We're waiting for confirmations from our zones. Um, and again, something that takes a layer of stress off because you're not just placing entries on zones, you're waiting for extra confirmation from them. You can see this one just gets blasted through as well, so that's fine. Um, and we tap into this extreme zone. Now, personally, I wait for some kind of sweep um, entry. Uh, in this case, it doesn't give a lot of room for a sweep, but there is also the cemented entry, which we'll find in a video on this channel, where we look for a cemented candle. And it's not until this candle that price cements on one minute. So for me, at this point, you know, that entry's gone. And that's an example of when you, everything lines up from the higher time frame down to the lower time frame until your entry model and then price just goes off without you. And there's nothing you can do about it. And it's, it, it, it is what it is. It's, it's, it's no real big deal. You, there's a level of faith you have to have in trading that the stars will align at some point and you'll get your high time frame story and your entry model will line up in the right place and it does it happens every month every week usually and you'll get that trade that plays out for you in this case it was just one of those times where it didn't um so that is that now there is such thing as looking for continuations and things like that on the one minute and you know that's very possible but for the purposes of this video trading stress free we're just going to be looking at 15 minute zones that make sense and so as we move on with price and we wait for because yes, we 
missed out on that move. You can't get in every move, as I say. Um, but we now have a second leg of price because we've broken this high right here. Okay. So, what do we do next? Well, what we can do is uh, look for a continuation, but on the 15 minutes. So we now have this area down here, but really we, we, what we first want to do is see where price cements in this leg. Okay, so we haven't had a cemented candle yet, so we don't quite have our range. Still don't, still don't have one, and still don't. And now we do. So now we have our low and our high. And you can see we have just about come into the premium of this leg. Now we could look for short term uh, shorts in this situation um, because we have technically tapped something in this um, 15 minute minor premium. Now it's short term because overall we are majorly bullish, okay? Um, so, their expectation of this would just be some kind of pullback to mitigate something to continue on, um, because we have mitigated a valid zone, we've created bullish order flow on the minor minor structure. Of course, it could come lower here, but our expectation at this point is for price to continue on upwards. Um, but yes, if we wanted to play a counter trend trade, we could look for, look on the one minute to see what's going on um, for a short term entry. We can see we've had a major break structure here and we'd look for a major break of structure here in order to get involved in price. and it's just faffing around and we get that major breaker structure there. So if price comes back up into the premium, gives valid entry. Okay, so price has come into this premium, um, tap something valid, has it swept anything? Uh, I wouldn't particularly say it's done a clear sweep, so a sweep and Cement entry isn't really on the cards. For me there, we have had the cement, but I wouldn't say there was something overly clear in, in this price. Um, and yeah, it just goes without us. Now we've reached the uh, discount and you know, it's <clears throat> done what we expected. It's coming into the premium and continue down into the discount of the 15 minute. But again, just didn't give our entry and we can just brush that off. It's, it's, it's fine, we don't need to be in every single move of price. Um, and again, it's, it's, it's a situation where you can, um, <clears throat> if you have a situation like this, you can, sorry, my mouse isn't working very well. You can, um, you have this, you have this break structure. You then what you do, set an alert there. Doesn't want to. What? Not doing alerts. Add horizontal line. Usually that sets an alert. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can set an alert for price to um, hit into this premium and then just go about your day. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And then you can also have an alert for this discount or zones in this discount that you look to take trade from. So as prices come down into this discount, what we can look for are areas that make sense on the 15 minute and one minute. And we can include this wick down here and this zone, extreme zone at the bottom there. So if we now go on the one minute and see if these areas line up there, what we'll see is we had the major one minute break of structure there. Okay, so we have down here is really the 
one minute um, area that we'd look to take a trade from. And we can kind of break that down into, right, okay, uh, there's another leg of price here. Um, and this would be the discount. And that really only leaves us with this if we take our crossover zone. So we had um, minor breaker structure here, uh, failure to mitigate. So this tapped air and it failed to tap the discount. So it's probably inducement. Price broke up again and continued up and then we had that major break and so this discount is in the major and the minor and there's one specific zone in there really um you could also say that that was inducement for the zone underneath that so that could be something as well if we take this whole zone if we go on the 15 minute we can see that that's just one big wick and that fits into a nice 15 minute zone so after that major breaker structure, we had a minor leg of price here. We then came back down into that minor and mitigated it and continued on. So we had major reestablishment there. So this could also be something if that lines up on the 15 minute too, and it does, it lines up with that wick there. And, um, okay, we'll, we'll check that out. See if we get any entry models there. We've had a reaction, but no real entry model from that as of yet. And we've also come into the premium of this leg. So again, I wouldn't really be fancy taking an entry from there yet. And then ultimately it breaks down through there. Okay, that's fine. So now we've refined down to that bottom zone and if we get an entry there, we do. And if it goes without us again, it goes without us. It's just kind of moving down. And this is where you have a lot of patience. This is where you set alerts, okay? So you're just waiting for that price to give you something. And there is a lot of waiting in trading. It's, it's mostly waiting about what price does its thing um, and that's when you can just go about your day. Look, this is the whole New York session. It's just kind of up and down, up and down, up and down. And, um, you know, you can try and trade it, but really you want to be waiting for those key areas that make sense on the higher time frames. Um, because you could take a lot of losses just messing about in this kind of price action. Um, you can really get a lot more stuff done. Um, if you just trade this more stress-free kind of way. So now we've entered into the zone. Um, and we've got a cemented candle. We don't have any kind of sweep really yet. We've somewhat swept that inducement there maybe into, into a zone, but nothing overly clear. Um, ah, so yeah, now we have had the entry model. You can see we just, just about swept this low by maybe a tick. And we've cemented this low here. So we've had the sweep, we've had the cement. So that is our entry model and it's from that zone. like. It's not just the entry model. It's from this extreme kind of zone that we've figured out on the 50 minute and we've gone all the way from the weekly down to <clears throat> this one minute area. And we've got our entry model now. That's multi time frame analysis. We have the expectation of the higher time frame pushing up and we have our entry model here. So whether this is a loss or a win doesn't matter. It's the confidence you feel when taking these, that you're doing the right thing that matters, that it makes sense in your overall narrative. Okay, so price comes back down, tags us in. Oh my goodness. Let's just say that tagged us in. Because when it comes down, I don't 
set a limit anymore. I mark it execute. Um, so when price starts to pull back in this way, I'll just hit mark it execute as soon as it looks like it's coming towards my entry. Um, and you know, sometimes I'll get tagged in right on the dot. Sometimes I'll get tagged in up here. You know, if price suddenly moves away and um, the response isn't quick enough, it's it's whatever. Um, I don't mind too much having a larger stop loss. It does decrease commissions um, and stuff like that. So it's fine, really. Now, <clears throat> in this case. Um, you know, say you've got this size stop loss, you know, your, your risk free is there, hasn't quite got there yet, um, but now it has, and you're in. So, at this point, you're, you're pretty happy, you've got involved in a trade, um, you know, where's, this isn't a management video, but we can have multiple targets, so first target, would be the last 50 minute substructural leg, which would be a nice 7R. So you could have one target there. I'll use that horizontal line if that's what it wants to do. You could have the next target of this high. Then you could leave some running to the overall highs up here with that expectation. Right there, whether it plays out or not. Okay. So you can see it's TP1 has been hit. Now, if you miss that trade, um, if we get another break of structure, you can look at the next leg of price. Obviously we've hit TP2, which was what? 20R, overall TP, 38R. Um, and you can see just how we avoided so much price action just by using the the 15 minute uh, zones and the overall high time frames. And this is how you trade stress-free. We've made minor, minor structure here. double dots um, now you see we've broken that structure down there so at this point what might we be looking for well if we're going for another pro trend trade we have this leg of price here okay now what sits in the discount of this we have this zone here, and um, we have zones below it down here. And what makes sense on the one minute? Well, we have, first of all, this overall one minute major is all the way up here. Um, we then have a break and minor structure and this was never mitigated so we can have this discount set there and these zones are both in that one minute discount as well as the 15 minute okay now within this we have what we call substructure so we can see we have our first leg of substructure which was mitigated to the discount so that's done with we have our next leg of substructure, which was mitigated to the discount, so it's done with. We then have our next leg of substructure, which was mitigated to the discount. So again, technically, we can say that this zone is done with, so we, we can get rid of that. We then have our next break of structure which was mitigated to the discount, so done with. Then we have our final leg of price here, which was not mitigated to the discount. You can see here and has been left. So this 
15 minute zone uh, is a one minute zone that makes sense okay so again we've got that story and we've got the overall story that we're likely to break this high now price pushes up pretty aggressively so we're waiting around here and this is over the course of you know we've had a, a weekend there it's now but we haven't had the weekend yet it's a friday okay um and so this is over the course of a couple of days and this can seem like a really long time trading live like it's easy to say now when we're clicking through candles and you can very quickly zoom through price but when you're waiting around day to day it can feel like that time is going very slowly and like you should be doing more it's very natural to feel like you should be doing more when trading but really as i said earlier less is in fact more and now you can see we've waited okay the last trade was on thursday at around 4 p.m and now it's friday at around 2 p.m we've hit that area again so the whole rest of the day has kind of just been this nonsense where we've created minor minor structure range around a bit you could have potentially again looked at these areas for counter trend shorts um, if you want to trade counter trend but for real stress-free trading just stick with the pro trend stuff that makes sense and you can read this uh, secondary or minor structure in the way to do that okay so now if we go on the one minute what do we have well we've tapped into something here okay we've cemented a high a low even but no real clear sweep of structure yet price has moved up now sorry I missed out that I clicked head forward now what do we have next well we had substructure so we pushed up to this point here we pulled back um, created a low pushed up cementing that low swept that low right here tapped into valid zone in the discount so this is again a sweep okay different type of entry model get that cementation right there okay so now again we have a valid entry right there okay tagged in Price pushes up for our risk free. Okay, so there's another trade. Okay, um, again, we can have initial TPs. Um, you know, we have this leg of price here on the 15 minute, not a very large one, but we're risk free at this point so the risk free is past this so i would personally have the first tp as taking the high of this zone you could have the next tp as the premium of this zone and you could have the overall tp again as breaking the high you could just have that TP. The expectation is that everything behind this is mitigated. So we should just sail through to this TP. But again, manage this video isn't about management. It's about showing you the best zones to get involved with. Okay, so here you can see that that trade turned out to be a loss. We go on the one minute. 
here everything lined up it was perfect um, and it was a great area but price ended up just coming back tapping a little bit deeper into this zone right here and um, you can see it's pushed off from there so this is a scenario that happens as well it may give you a setup it um, everything looks hunky-dory you get risk-free at least um, it's a break-even trade and then price comes back taps out wants just a slightly different entry doesn't give you your entry and then moves off um, this was again a trade that I took and was completely fine with because it just played out the way we would expect it to um, so you know again it is what it is and price carries on and ultimately goes up and hits that final CP. So this entry played out. This one, you'd have taken a loss. Um, and yeah, that, that's kind of the, the general gist of how I look to get involved. You find these certain areas of price on the 15 minute that make sense and just use those to trade from. You don't get involved in the nonsense between them. Um, there are ways to do that safely, sensibly, but you know, for for the sake of trades and simplicity and stress-free trading, this is what you want. Pro trend, 15 minute, makes sense in the higher time frame, one minute entry model from those zones. What more do you need? <laughs> <laughs>